What's up, Doodle Clubbers and Chroma Clubbers? Today is another edition of Ask DCH. Let's get started. Okay, we go to Jobs, and we'll go check to see what the latest one was. Okay, Coco Bliss asks, if the world was ending and you could say one last sentence, what would it be? Um, you know, I don't know. I think, uh... Um, um, I don't know, embrace the power of the doodle, <laughs> uh, embrace the power of projects. I don't know. I mean, I think, I think something like that, or, um, maybe I just say thank you, you know, thank you for having a life. I mean, that's it. So, uh, so I think, uh, I don't know. What, what do you think? What would you do? I think that would be an interesting question. Post in the comments below. Burger Man asks, what is the real reason of Doodle Club? Not a lot of people know that. Yeah, the real reason is to inspire people to do projects, okay? To inspire people to work together and do cool and fun projects, and that's the real reason. Doodling was one part, and you know, as I've discussed with some of the players, uh, we were talking about music and some other things too. JJ the Cat asks, DCH, do you like making video games? Look. I some of the games I like and some of the games I don't like. I think that there's parts of it that are really difficult because you have to know so much of so many different things. So for example, with Doodle Club, a lot of the social stuff is done reasonably well because that's what I like. But you know, we need to have a mini game component. We need to have quests. We need to have a lot of these other things that I'm not necessarily the best at, but we need to have. So video games are cool in terms of, hey, you have to learn a lot of stuff to do them. But um, I think it's more fun when you've got a game that's working and you're working with other people that kind of share that enthusiasm. So it can be fun and it sometimes isn't fun depending on what you're making. And especially when you have to start learning something new and you're starting all over again and you have to kind of re bring in the skills and talents and you're getting attacked and people don't necessarily like the new stuff because you have to keep on learning stuff too. Okay, uh, Sunstar asks, can you add private chat rooms? Look, once we have the virtual world, I think that'll allow for private chat, so we'll see what happens. Toaster the Skeleton asks, DCH, if you were to give the game an update, what would be the biggest part of it? I would say the virtual world. Okay, what is the new app idea that will be presented to the public? Aramia4352 asks, I would say I'm going to keep that to myself until it's ready to go. Um, we have some ideas for it, but it's not quite ready so we will see what happens <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say okay cookie05 asks don't you just love pie uh look i like ice cream cake i don't know if i necessarily like pie all the time it really depends on the pie it depends if it was made well because a lot of the stuff like pie that you can buy in the store it might be full of sugar if that's what you're talking about pie like sweet pie or something else and it can be like full of preservatives and stuff I really don't like. But ice cream cake is really awesome. If that's a kind of pie, I'd love that. Um, sometimes chicken pot pie, you know, if it's cooked well or some, you know, that could be good too. So yeah, it depends on the pie. <laughs> Madison asks, what is your favorite part of DC? In fact, um, Mal still underscore Nick Jonas lover and the person here, Wildest Dreams, at the bottom asks pretty much the same question, which is what are your what is your favorite part of DC? And I would say the favorite part for me are the club meetings that I have every day, which happen at 6.30 p.m. doodle club time. I really enjoy just getting feedback and discussing ideas about them. So really my favorite part of doodle club is talking to other players about ways that I can help make cool and fun games. So, so that's pretty much my favorite part. Okay, so I think that's it for today's Ask DCH. Thanks again for the questions. And if you have any suggestions or feedback or comments, and once again, if you have anything interesting to say about Coco Bliss's question, which is if the world was ending and you could say one last sentence, what would it be? I would love to hear it in the comments below. Well, that's it. Take care. And remember, embrace the power of projects. I'm gonna try that 
as an experiment for the beginning and ends of these Ask DCHs, and we will see what happens. So let me know what you like. Embrace the power of the doodle or embrace the power of projects. Let me know what you think of this slogan. I want to have a unique slogan. I know it sounds a little crazy right now, and let me know what you think. Take care.